Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a mukbang. Yay! I have been wanting to do a mukbang for a long time. Uh, I used to watch uh, one of my friends that I met off of YouTube. Her name is Alice and she used to do mukbangs. She even did some with her daughter and I, I loved them. Like I was obsessed with them. And she was actually the first person I ever seen a mukbang from and then I started watching other people's and then it just became this huge trend so I was like um I'm gonna get on that trend so no I'm just kidding but today I got a spicy Italian from Subway and I just went on Instagram right now and I put on my story that I'm gonna be filming a mukbang and for you guys to ask me some questions so if you're not following me on Instagram and you would like to keep up with what I'm doing follow me on Instagram uh, I do post on Instagram a lot, so I I'm not super popular on Instagram. I only have 1,187 followers. It's not like I'm super popular. It's not like I get DMs all the time. So it may take a while for y'all to get back to me on this. But um, if you guys don't reply, then I will just. Um, answer some questions that have been asked in the past or I've answered them back to you guys that I can remember or just some fun things that you guys probably would want to get to know about me while I'm eating because I don't want to make this super boring just me eating. The way I don't know if you guys is but they always pack me with some lots of napkins and I did not get a drink or chips because I have it so I have my cup with glass and I'm obs currently obsessed with squirt don't ask me why, but I am. So, and I always have to eat, like I always have to have something to drink when I'm eating something. So it's like a must just to wash it down. And if I'm gonna be talking and eating at the same time, your girl gonna need the two liter right next to her. So hopefully you guys can hear me because of course my son has to be watching Puppy Dog Pals right now at the most convenient time. And I have you guys on this wobbly stand thing because I cannot find my tripod anywhere. So, in all the mukbangs that I've watched, everybody shows their food. So, I am not picky when it comes to sandwich toppings. I just don't like wax pickles or whatever they're called. It's the only thing I don't want. And I just wasn't feeling like a lettuce type of gal today. So, this is my sandwich. Wait. Mm, that looks bomb. So it's just a spicy Italian on the Italian herb and cheese bread. I absolutely love this bread. I did get it grilled. So I just put the um, pa uh, pepper jack cheese on it and I grilled it with onions on it. So it has the red onions, it has the peppers, the green peppers, it's spinach instead of um, lettuce because I don't know, I haven't been feeling lettuce lately, but I did, I do love spinach and then I put tomato and that's that. So here's my sandwich and a lot of people may think I don't eat a lot or like look at my size and be like, oh my God, you don't eat a lot, but this full foot long, I can eat it all. So hopefully I can eat it all in this video because I did have a big breakfast. So if I had a big breakfast, I don't really normally eat lunch that much. So but yeah, I, I'm kind of starving. So I'm going to take my first bite. Oh my god, I love food. Like, I love sandwiches. Mmm. Well, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> if I keep going forward, it's because my camera... Like, okay, look it. can't see me. You can see me, so I have to, like, be at a certain spot. Mmm. I'm gonna check on Instagram to see if you guys, some of you guys got back to me. How long are mukbangs supposed to be? Like, as long as you eat? Okay, so I have my first question from Tabby Dot 
owls.26 um, or owls but she asks are you still in school no I'm not in school um, so I graduated high school in 2011 and I went straight to college didn't finish college because I ended up um, getting pregnant with Naraya I just school was just not for me and then I went back to school while I was pregnant with TJ just on an online class which was um, for medical billing and I did complete that it's just a certificate so it was only a six month course mm. but yeah I'm no I'm no longer in school and I don't plan on going back to school I mean schools for people like there are a lot of people out there that can go to school but school isn't for me mm. I feel like I have to eat so proper while I'm filming. <laughs> if I keep looking at my viewfinders because I'm trying to see if I have any like mayo on my lips or anything. Um, I think I got another question. Um, from Shanae, is it Shanae dot Marquez? Um, she asks, can you give us advice about marriage? Me and my husband have been married for one year, but we've but been together for four years. We're both 21 years old and it can be hard at some times. So marriage advice, you've been married at, you got married at 21 and you've been married for a year. Marriage is not easy. Like I, I'm not nowhere near giving marriage advice. Um, but I've been married for four years and I can tell you it's definitely not going to be easy. I don't feel like it's ever going to be easy. It's just something that you always have to work on and you both have to always have communication. Like I know it's like overrated when people say communication is key in a relationship, in a marriage, in a friendship, but it's really key. You like have to have communication. If there's no communication between you two, then there's no relationship or marriage. I would say like people always say if you can get through your first year of marriage, you can get through the whole entire marriage for life. But I say it's the first two or three years of marriage. If you can get through that, then you can get through anything. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely hard. Mm. But you guys have to have a lot of communication. Mm. Uh, that being said, like having communication, express your feelings towards one another because if you just bottle up your feelings inside, like if you're feeling a certain way about your husband and he doesn't know that you're feeling that way, you're going to be looking at him like, oh my god, I hate you, I just want to kill you. But he doesn't know what he did wrong or why you're feeling that way, so it's going to irritate him and he's going to be like, oh my god, she's so much drama, why is she always starting something with me? Vice versa, like... If he's feeling a certain way and he doesn't express it to you, he's obviously going to have an attitude problem because I feel like guys have the worst attitude more than women. More than women by far. And they are more dramatic than women when it, there's like when times hit a certain spot in life. It's like they can be more dramatic than a, than a woman can. So I feel like on both parts, you guys have to express your feelings towards one another because... If you don't, you guys are just going to bottle up all your energy inside and then one day it's just going to be a huge explosion or maybe every day you're just going to constantly be arguing. So I would say communication, expressing your feelings towards one another, and definitely don't give up on being in love with one another. Going out on dates, taking that one-on-one -on -one time together, the intimacy part of being in a marriage. Um not forgetting like how you guys met make each other fall in love all over again flirt i would say flirt joke around just be in that cutesy stage that you used to be in because if that falls apart then you're both of you will be unhappy because you're gonna want that like spice that kick that you guys um fell in love with each other in the first place for so i would say those are my three key advice on um a marriage I 
think I got another one. Okay, she said, yeah, I can say her name. So, Marquez. thank you for that question, um, because honestly, that made me see that I truly am kind of, like, in that point where I can kind of give a little bit of advice. So, thank you for that question. Mm. My next question is from Rosie Miranda underscore. What do you prefer doing, YouTube or photography, and why? Mm. I feel like I kind of love both but also like lean towards one more because of the like the money wise only because I would like to make extra money have extra cash in my pocket and photography does that for me YouTube doesn't and it's just I have more of a passion for photography than I do for vlogging or videos or like, oh, but I do love editing. Like, if somebody were to hire me to edit, then I would I would just love it. But, um... Mm, mm, I guess I would choose photography. Mm, because photography, you don't have to deal with backlash. You don't have to deal with hate. You don't have to deal with negative people. You don't have to deal with, like these comments that are unnecessary you don't have to deal with thumbs downs you don't have to deal with trying to make your channel grow to get paid like i mean let's get like let's be real when people go on youtube now they're doing it because they want to get paid and it's like that's okay because there's a lot of stay at home mom stay at home moms and if you can do that then you could do that but you also got to love doing it if you don't love doing it then it's just not it's just not for you. You're not going to enjoy doing it. You're not going to get anywhere with your channel because subscribers can really tell if you're doing it like genuine or not. Um, then if they can tell that you're not, then that's when they start coming at you, throwing some jabs. And I'll admit I fell in a stage where I was like, um, okay, I see all these people like making money. Like I see all these people getting all these views. Like I want to try to do that. And honestly, I just wasn't happy doing that. Versus when I first started doing YouTube, I did it because it was a hobby. It was something that I enjoyed doing. It was something that I wanted to do with my kids. It was something that I found myself so drawn to that I wasn't bored at home anymore. I wasn't just stuck at home doing like nothing. I felt like I was doing something, accomplishing something, doing something for myself, for my kids. So once I fell out of that, I realized, okay, Josette, you need to do it because you want to and because you're happy doing it and because it's your hobby not because you're trying to hurry up and climb the ladder all the way to the top to reach all these subscribers and all these views so i started off with a good heart wanting to do youtube for a hobby and i just fell off the wagon somewhere in between there so that's why i took a really long break and fairly slowly coming back because now i'm finding that urge inside of me where I'm like I miss doing YouTube like how I norm like how I used to do it like I miss doing vlogs I miss doing like recipes like this when I first started doing YouTube it was all vlogs I did nothing but vlogs and recipes and I honestly miss doing that so but like everybody in life everybody changes and everybody goes through a growth when I started YouTube I was 18 I'm 24 like Obviously, I've grown, I've changed, I'm not going to be the same person, so when people are like, oh my god, you've changed, you're different, yes, I am, because I am at a different age, a different stage in my life, so I have changed, I have aged, like, I've grown, so I'm not always going to be the exact same person that people want me to be, because I'm changing as I'm growing. Mm. So, um... I guess I would pick photography. Mm. That was a good question. Mm. Oh, and then she, um, Rosie Miranda underscore ask, have you gotten paid on YouTube yet? Um, 
I have gotten paid on YouTube uh, before, but um, it honestly wasn't a lot. It was like, but for me, like, I felt like that was a lot because I don't have a job. I don't make money as it is. So I felt like that was good and I was getting mm, something out of it. I, the only, the highest that I've gotten paid on YouTube before was about 250 and that was it. And then you really have to hustle. Like you really have to get those ads in like to get paid. And then you have to meet, if you're not with a, um, a network, you, you're, you're going to be with Google AdSense. You have to meet a $100 threshold and everything has changed on YouTube so much. So it's really hard to meet all those requirements. So recently I haven't got paid. Mm. Somebody doesn't want their shout out. So they did ask some um, really good questions. What is your current favorite song right now? Um, my current favorite song that I'm always, hmm, I'm rocking out to is Be Careful by be careful Ryan me. Honestly, her whole album, I have her whole album, I'm honestly obsessed with every song from it. Mm, I love Best life. I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. Made a couple M's with my best. I love um, I do featuring SZA. I left that nigga on red cause I felt like it. Put me down in a red silver jacket. That put that but I look fine and my checks to fine. No wonder, wonder why I do whatever I like. Put a lot of mail. Mmm. Her next question, if you could pick one place to travel in the world, where would it be and why? Mm. Korea, South Korea, Seoul. Um, why? Because if you guys haven't already noticed, I'm obsessed with Korean everything. I love... The Korean language, I love the Korean food, I love the Korean writing, I love I love Korean men. <laughs> um I used to always tell my mom, you're gonna have Korean grandchildren. No, no, no. She didn't. <laughs> but I'm more of like a Korean drama fantasizer. My first love was Chosi Wan. I'll put a picture of him. Chosi Wan is like my favorite. You can ask my cousins. Like, I've never let him go. And then, um. Ah! Kim Woobin. Oh, my poor Kim Woobin. Here's a picture of him. He has gone through cancer, so he's been away. He hasn't made a drama. And the sad thing is, he his most recent drama was of him dying of cancer. And then he ended up getting diagnosed with cancer. I honestly cried. I cried for like two days straight. I love Kim Lupin. Um, I love K-pop. Like K-pop. Oh my god. I can listen to K-pop every day. So yeah, I would travel definitely to um, South Korea and definitely be going to all kinds of K-pop concerts. Oh my god. My video is 20 minutes. Are mukbangs supposed to be this long? Well, I ate one full sandwich, so I think I'm going to end it there, guys, because... I'm like the per the type of person that I can't sit through a 20 minute long video. Um, so, I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh my god, your video is getting way too long, girl. Just let me make sure no one else um, asks me a question because I don't want to leave anyone out. Oh. Oh, um, I'm sorry if I do your name wrong. They... 
Sarah underscore De Garcia. Uh, but she asked the same question, did you finish college and what were you majoring on? So I did answer that question, but I just wanted to make sure that I got to everyone's questions. Um, so yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for being here on my first ever mukbang. I would love to finish it, but oh my god, I feel like my video, is, it is. It says 21 minutes and 38 seconds, so let me take one more bite. I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did give it a big thumbs up also in the comments let me know if you guys would like me to do more mukbangs I actually enjoyed it I'll probably get like a smaller meal because the footlong was pretty big it took me unless I eat slow or I can't eat while I'm t like I can't talk while I'm eating I don't know if you guys noticed that um but yeah so I'll probably get, just get a smaller meal next time let me know if you guys like it and enjoy give it a thumbs up also click the subscribe button for more videos and I'll catch you guys in my next video peace